I was going to say. So, what's going on people? I'm going to teach you guys how to turn yourself into a cartoon. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm about to stop. Oh, bars, bars. Oh, okay, I'm just... <laughs> Boy, if you don't get... What the hell was that? <laughs> what's happening people? Crouch down is a bookie ass angle to try and teach you guys how to turn yourself into a cartoon. You ready? Alright, let's go. Bam. Let's get right into it. Did he just say Alright, so first things first, what you want to do is you want to have a picture of yourself, right? And obviously I am here looking all jacked up and whatnot. Ooh, boy, okay. if you don't anyways, uh <laughs> Anyways, what you want to do is you want to have a picture of yourself, upload it into whatever image editing software you want, provided it has a brush. Uh, as long as it has some type of brush, you can do what I'm about to do. So, uh, first things first, import your image, and right off the bat, I want you to reduce the opacity to about, I don't know, let's say about 30, 35%. What that's going to do is, it's going to allow you to see your strokes as of when, oh, that's white. It's going to allow you to see what you're drawing just a little bit more clearer. So if I was to zoom in real quick, bam, draw around my jawline real quick, smack. You can see what you're doing. A little bit more clearer than if it was at 100%. So once you've done that, uh, a quick little workflow thing for you guys. Uh, you need to create two more layers, one for base colors and one for your actual outline. Now I color code mine as you can see on the right here which is probably a bit difficult because of the angle and I don't know what to do about that. So you create your twos, uh, first is for base colors, second one is for the outline. Now you are going to primarily be using the outline one to do all of your sketching and that is all we're going to need for this first part. So let's get right into it. So here we are, choose your brush, uh, use a standard mapping pen. Uh, just so everyone knows I'm using Clip Studio Paint. Cool. Uh, and also just another one because this isn't an actual tutorial on how to draw. This is just how to turn yourself into a cartoon. If that's what you're looking to do. Anyway, so you're not gonna need none of all of that. Oh, do that little line thing, you know, do that. Oh, do the neck, do the shoulders. None of that stuff. You don't need to learn that. What you're gonna do is just trace. Making that clear, you're just tracing. Cool. Oh, the lines, a buki. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is you want to follow kind of like the main forms that you're seeing in your picture. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just uh, sorting out my hairline because my hairline is nice. Anyways, <laughs> yep, so uh, I'm going to speed up on the rest of this uh, nonsense um, so you guys don't have to listen to me talk. And bam, right off the bat, you can see I've got the rough shape off my head, uh, which we can obviously clean up later on. So if we quickly zoom out and see what our progress is looking like, you can see, hopefully you can see, it's coming along nice. Nicely done, mate. Jeez. Jesus. Oh my God. Our hands can be really tricky, so it's really important to make sure you try and follow the form as much as possible. Follow the form. Uh, that's disgusting, mate. What is that? That is absolutely hideous. Hell no. Oof, I'm looking like an old man.
Yeah. That looks good. So, that's the outline done, right? Uh, I'll show you a quick example. There's with the picture and that's on its own. Okay, so I've cleaned up some of the lines. Uh, made a few of them bolder, but let's get into the actual colouring now. So, as I mentioned at the start, you need to two, create two layers, right? One is for your base colours. Now, base colours is essentially where you're going to be filling in the, your base colours. I don't know what else to say. Uh, so what you do is you open up your image again, put it on full opacity, and then you essentially use the eyedropper tool, uh, which can be found whenever you open up some sort of color selector you have an eyedropper tool available in your image editing program of choice uh, so here I am obviously and I want to choose kind of the mid-tones not really anything uh, highlighted or anything too dark in the shadows so somewhere I'd say about here seems a little dark so maybe more here Right, and then you test it out, see if you like it. I think that's a bit too dark, so I'm gonna go a little lighter with that. That seems to do the trick. And then essentially just go ahead and make sure your base colors layer is selected and then start filling in. Uh, so I'm using the paint bucket to make my life really simple. And then I'm gonna go over and just clean it up uh, with a brush. That's still way too dark. What the hell am I thinking? Alright, let's, let's try this out. Yeah, that's a lot better. You know what, let's use this. So yeah, so you want to put all your base colours down first and then you can kind of build on that. So essentially it's just a rinse and repeat. So you choose the next colour on your list I like it a little bit darker than that, so yeah, and then bam, 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 pat, pat, pat. Bam, bam. So once you've done that and you've got your base colors on, the next step is to sample the darker shades and add some shadows. So yeah, what you wanna do is you wanna create a separate layer for each part of yourself that you're shading. So if I'm shading my skin, right, I'm gonna have a separate layer called skin shading, and then I'm gonna shade on that. When I get to the jumper or the top, I'm gonna to create another layer called jumper shading and then shade on that. And then that way it just helps you manage all of your different shading elements and just allows you to, you know, have that bit more flexibility. If you do mess something up, you can go back and fix it. Cool. So what you wanna do is, uh, so we obviously have our sketch and our colors and whatnot. So we want to go ahead and above the base colors and below the outline layer, you want to create a new layer. And let's start off with, you know, let's start off with skin shading. So we got skin shading, cool. And let's just slap on a nice purple, just so you know. You probably can't see it from that angle, but yes. Um, Yep, so there's that. And then what we want to do is we want to create a clipping mask. And I won't go into too much what a clipping mask is, but essentially it limits um, where your brush strokes show up based on the layer below. So if you have a, a bunch of scribbles on the layer below and you clip mask the new layer, you will only be able to draw over those scribbles. Uh, so it just saves you having to rub out if you go outside of the lines this way, it stops you from going outside of the lines. So you've got nothing to worry about. Cool. Quick demonstration, slap on the clipping mask. Let's make this a bright pink and let's go super big with the brush. Now look, it doesn't matter how much I brush over to the side, I'm not going outside of the layer. So yeah, that pretty much explains that. Usually before I do any type of blending, I'll always just add the initial shadow and then maybe a couple uh, even darker patches here and there just so, um, yeah, I don't know, it makes it easier to blend once you know what's there.
So yeah, now that I've got the uh, shading done, I'm just gonna add one more extra detail just to make it look a little bit more interesting. So on the top, I'm just gonna give it some sort of cotton texture. And yeah, then I guess it's pretty much done. Okay, that's done. Uh, I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how to turn yourself into a cartoon. Hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, I know this was a bit rushed, but I wanted to keep it quick just to get the main points out of the way. Um, uh, leave a comment, like, sub, all of the standard stuff, because uh, Lord knows I need it. Boy, if you don't get... <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that's me. Go check out my other stuff. Peace.